Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 11th of the Nico Day Challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this farm. Yay, one that doesn't have the solution in the memory. All right, let's let's take a look. It's, it seems like it's another link. This farm, farm 109, convert sorted list to binary search tree. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. And today I would do a bonus... Um, uh, premium problem so definitely if you have premium or even if you don't uh check that out uh and you know see a new problem or whatever or just do one with larry uh yeah all right so let's see so it's a sorted list sorted link list even and we have a binary search tree hmm what does that mean height balanced binary search tree hmm Is that weird? Maybe I, I don't know that I understand this exactly, uh, the specifications, because... Um, okay, so I guess the depth of the subtrees are... Uh, but it's a little bit awkward, right? Because you can imagine this... No, I guess that's fine. I guess five nodes, this is roughly right. Okay. Um... Yeah, I, mean, I think it's just recursively getting the me medium node and then, you know, bending it. If you could, uh, but, but basically, it's just, um, what you might call it, uh, divide and conquer, I think, I, um, and then taking the medium node and then just go left or right. Um, you have to be a little bit careful just to make sure that you don't go a little bit out of whack um, on handling, you know, dividing by odd numbers or something. I wonder if that would ever come up. But I guess we'll see. We'll just do it naively and then we'll see. Um, but yeah, and of course you could uh, define a get middle node thing by just um, using the 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 turtle and the uh, uh, tur turtoise and the hair algorithm, which means having two nodes or uh, two two cat pointers and going one that's twice at the speed and then one going uh, singular speed and then the, you would get the median uh, medium node in that case so let's just say get medium for for a, a head right so then you have current is uh, fast as you go to head t tail as you go to head and then while fast is not none fast as you go to fast that next fast as you go to fast that next oops assuming fast is n not none right and then slow as you go slow is to go to slow down next and then we return slow right what did i say tail hmm, that's weird so that's get middle medium middle hmm, english is powered and then yeah and then this is just regular recursion right and then we just um maybe have a two bst of uh uh the node right and then we we do middle node is equal to uh get middle of the node um i think i, I want to change this up a little bit um the reason being that the reason being that um we're returning the node which is useful but we also want we actually want to get the node containing the next node to be um to be the middle so i think that's a little bit easier um so maybe we just say pre-head is equal to this node of negative one head and then pre-head right uh something like this i suppose right um and then now we can return slow but now we want slow that next will be the middle element is what i want to do because then uh because then now we can do something like middle dot next as you go to none and then you know divide the thing right um so we won't we, we will do that but not yet so basically now we want one uh, so now the middle uh yeah 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 so now um hmm, so now the current node current node oh this is a list node that's why i get confused so the current node is you go tree node of no uh middle that next that value something like this um we have to do some checking to see, make sure that middle dot next is not none it shouldn't be none though because it cannot be maybe hmm. but 
Uh, let's just put it in a sword here and then we can maybe fix it later. If this assertion is wrong. Right? Um, and then basically, middle dot next. Uh, let's just say also. Um, yeah. How do I want to write it? Yeah, maybe that's fine. I, th I think this is already good enough. Right? And then current dot left is you go to. Uh, oh, now we have to do middle dot next is equal to none, so that we chop it off. Middle dot next is equal to BST. Um, hmm. Maybe I missed a parameter. Oh no no no! Node is the the the, the leftmost node, so that should actually be good. So uh, node and then current dot right is equal to to BST middle dot next dot next. Because you want to know that's next to, I mean, I have to fix some stuff, but that would be the idea, right? Um, yeah, and then also if node is none, then just return none. Um, yeah, I don't know why I didn't do it, but yeah. And let's call this middle pointer. And then we we'll call middle is equal to middle dot, or middle pointer dot next. So then here we got middle, middle. And, and then we could just already done away with, right? So we could do that here. Um, then now we do middle dot next. And then that maybe should be good. So now we return to BST of head. And then let's give it a spin. Uh, apparently we have some assertion error. Middle is not, it's going to be none at some point. Uh, hmm. So get middle, How, when is this none? When, when this is none maybe? No, because it cannot, I mean, if it's none, that will be already be none. So if it's one node, what happens? If it's one node, this, they both point at the beginning of one node, and then fast goes to, and then slow goes to the one node, right? Hmm. Let's kind of look at this, actually. So basically, you have one, oh no, wait, wait, where did it, oh. Also, negative one is not good enough, I guess, <laughs> uh, because this is in the range. But uh, I mean, I, I don't think we use it anyway. But still, so okay. So this is the node we print it, and middle. Let's just also print middle then, just in case that one of them is good. But hmm. Oh, because we, we get rid of this. That's why this looks a little bit awkward before. Okay. Hmm. Why does this... It's probably fine. <clears throat> mm. No, if this one node, we just want to return that one node, right? So this means that this is a little bit off. How do we fix this? Let's see, fast on next. So basically, if this one node, fast on next is not, I mean, we only do one iteration of this. So then, oh, because this points at the first node. Mm. Hmm. I wonder if this is enough. Um, yeah, maybe like. Okay, so if middle is none, then we only have one node, maybe. And then just return tree node of uh, middle, or just node dot value. Maybe that's good enough? I don't know. Let's see. We don't have a base case for it, though, so maybe it was a little bit off anyway. Okay, I mean, we have answers. They're not the right answers, but. You know that's progress. Uh, is there a way to visualize this? I feel like, I feel like I've seen like visualization tool or something, right? Or is that only in the old version? Because they like they have things that goes into a tree, but maybe that's a little bit different. Uh, what am I doing wrong? Well? I don't know because I don't know what this visualization thing is. Um, let's see, right? So it's five to root. Let me draw it out on paper because I, I don't even know where my pencils are. What can happen? Okay, well, there's one. I don't know if that's good. So let's take five as the root. Zero, nine. 
uh, and then negative three, no, no negative ten. Oh, negative ten is a little bit awkward, isn't it? Why is negative ten all the way over there? Huh? That is weird. All right, let, let's actually. Hmm. That why you? All right, let's take a look. So, oh, huh. So I guess my math was just wrong because it because I am returning the middle node, but not the node that points to the middle node. So I have to kind of change this up a little bit. Uh, we want the the node that's before this. So let's just say pre is equal to slow, um, and then maybe just like pre is equal to slow again, and then we just do pre, right? It it may now like run into infinite loop because yeah, uh, because. What what is that? Zero is good, and then now there is some like awkward thing with some assumptions that we've made. Um, okay, let me think about this. So now this is no longer possible. So then that means that it keeps on going infinitely. Uh, on in fact, when this is negative ten, creates one and then creates the node. Hmm. Mm, so this is the middle. Wait, where am I? So middle dot. Because eh. then now, now it should be that middle dot next is none, because this is. Okay, so we wanted to put. Uh, it's just so hard to keep everything in my head. Sorry, friends. Um, okay. So then now, now this, this is the node before the middle node. Okay. So then this is the middle node. Yeah, so then we put zero, zero is good. But then now we have two elements and then two elements, it points at the left one. Um, but then it's still, I think there's some like assumptions where if node is equal to middle or something like this, then we don't do it. Mm. Basically, if there are two elements, now we have the earlier one which is the opposite of what we had before. That's kind of why this messed up, or not messed up, but just a little bit imprecise. How do I handle that case? Hmm. Because basically, um, <clears throat> what, what, how we want to handle this case is actually the same thing we did with prehead, I think. Um, uh, I suppose. Yeah. Uh, and then now, this is if no dot next is none, then we return none. Um, let's run it real quick, just to kind of get a visualization. But then now, what we want instead of node negative three. Oh man, that, because now we don't want the pre anymore. Uh. Um. What? Why is this? Uh. It's way easier to get well. As you can see. Okay, this is just very wrong. So it was divided by zero and then three and then negative ten. That's good. But then it's missing uh, the five. So I think we're in a. Well, and then now also it adds this thing somehow. Hmm. Okay, now I'm just doing like random things. So this is definitely not right. But, um. All right. This is very tough because we're. we're it is way tough because I'm an idiot, but uh, <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay, let's let's go back a little bit, right? So we want uh, from first principles, we want this thing to point to the node that is the middle, right? So then the middle, we uh, okay. Let's just 
go back a little bit. Man. This is way easy to mess up. So, yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I have a print. I mean, I know that's just going to go. Okay, so 0 and a negative 10. It's doing negative 10, so then it creates a negative 10 node, but then node is equal to middle. So maybe we just do something like, if node is not equal to middle, then we just do this, maybe. Maybe that's good enough. Um, I guess that is good enough. I, I, was, I thought that it may be a little bit trickier, so that's why. Do I need this? I'm not even sure that this is quite right yet. So let's uh, let's give it a few more numbers. Uh, I don't know. I mean, as long as it's sorted, it's fine. It, it doesn't change the answer, so we'll see. That yeah, looks okay. Let's give it a quick submit. Okay, so that looks good. I think I just it's way hard to get these pointers quite right, um, and all the edge cases. I thought th I. The reason why I didn't do it, I, I did think about this immediately, but I didn't want to do it because I thought that's kind of a hacky way of doing it, but maybe not. I don't know. Um, this is going to be linear time. Uh, oh, wait, sorry. Is it linear time? Am I lying? <laughs> mm, it is going to be n log n time because this is going to be n log n depth. Um, and each of these will have a linear node because we do the get middle. I think if you're able, uh, I mean, it's a little bit weird, right? Because it's n log n time because of this, but let's say you don't use the linked list and then, or you use the link, because in space, this is going to be linear space anyway. So I think the smarter way to do it in theory, but you would have to create extra space, is converting the linked list to an array and then converting that array to binary search tree. Then you get the middle point in O of 1, which means that you have linear time. But uh, but I don't know if that's in the spirit of things. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you can definitely do it that way. Did I do oh, How did I do it last time? Uh, hmm. I get the length. And then I get the middle node. Eh, okay. So this is the same complexity, I think. But yeah, if, if you just like put it in an array, it'll be faster. But that's kind of, I don't know. That feels a little bit weird. But that definitely is the more optimal uh, time uh, complexity. So I don't know. Anyway, um, yeah, that's all I have for this problem. Let me know what you think. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take good mental health. I'll see you later and take care. Bye-bye.